What's up, everybody? Big Herc, 916, and you tune into another edition of my vlog. Just want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all your support. You know I'm all about that positivity and that motivation. <clears throat> and um, I just want to share with some of you young guys out there that are going through adolescence, that are trying to find yourself trying to figure out how to talk to girls, how to build your confidence up, how to establish uh, a relationship. Hey man, it's all right to uh, face rejection. It's all right that you have anxiety trying to go outside your comfort zone. That's all a part of being a young man, you know, you learn through your actions and I know a lot of times fathers don't sit down and, and teach you the steps on how to approach a, a female or how to uh, ask a female out for a date or what to do once you're on a date and um, it could be intimidating but just know that most women respect a man with confidence. They respect a man that's sure of himself, that's assertive. Um, someone that is interested in them. Um, you know, there's a lot of, <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, superficial relationships going on because of social media. And I know you have a lot of the Instagram girls out there and they don't seem to care too much unless you got a, a Lamborghini, a McLaren or a Ferrari. But outside of those females out there there are all women who care about you as a person and they are looking for someone with substance and all you got to do is speak up you know it, you, it all starts somewhere you know just because you have money and these women appear to be interested in you doesn't mean they really care about you a lot of times it's all about how their image looks when they're with you, what they can get, um, you know, trying to uh, position themselves to possibly get a payday. You know, there's a lot of other factors that come into play. So just know that a lot of times you wanna be discerning when it comes to getting involved in serious relationships or if you're just, you know, busting them cheeks. If you just bust them cheeks in, that's something different. Um, you know, that doesn't require any serious commitment. But when you start talking about making a commitment with a female, you want to know that, you know, she has your best interest. And there's little things you can do to test her. You know, you can ask her certain questions about your personal life that you share with her and see if she can even remember what you told her. If you told her about... Um, your childhood or what your name your first dog was or um, you know the first time you scored uh, a touchdown or uh, a free throw at a basketball game or you know your first road trip if she doesn't really have any recollection of any of these things you talked about that means that she was never really listening to you she was just there in presence but she wasn't really there in essence, I mean, she, she didn't, she, she doesn't really have any interest, if she doesn't care. But if she could say, hey, I remember when you told me that your mom took you here, or um, that your favorite dish is this, or when you had your birthday, you know, you got this for your birthday, so I want to get it for you, then she's a keeper, man. And um, she's someone you want to invest some time in. Another thing you can do is, you know, put some goals out there and, um, and see if she supports you in those goals. If you say like, hey, you know, my five-year plan is to um, accumulate X amount of real estate, um, to travel to Europe, or to um, learn how to surf, or, you know, I want to buy, um, you know, I want to buy a Ferrari. And she's like, oh, you, you know, who you think you are? You know, you're not going to buy no Ferrari. You're not going to, you're not going to travel the world, you know, or, um 
Why do you want to do that? Get rid of her. She's not the one for you. You, you know, if she was really about you, she'd be like, well, can I come with you when you go? You know, what do you need me to do to help you get there? Or what color do you want? You know, you know, how about this color combination? I think that'll look tight and you look good in that. Or, um, you know, you know, I, I might be able to put in with, your, with you to help get the house. You know, I got good credit. That's what you should be hearing. These are things that you look for when you're trying to find somebody to build an empire with, somebody to establish a foundation with. But going back to just talking to a female, there's nothing wrong with talking to a female. You know, I guess there's some movement going around where guys are saying they don't need relationships with women, they don't need to have, you know, girlfriends, they could just be buddied up with you know, their pals and, you know, women are, are not necessary. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about? You mean to tell me you don't want to get your your uh, your wee wee wet? You don't want to have a, a relationship with a woman? You don't want to have possibly in the future a child and, and, and show your child how to grow up and be a man? Come on, man. You know, there's only so much you could do with your with your with your homie, you know? And a lot of times he's gonna be trying to have you get into some bullshit. So if you have a female what I realized is a lot of times she'll talk you out of stupid stuff. She could be the voice of reason, unless she's ratchet. If she's ratchet, then she ain't gonna be doing anything but trying to talk you into doing what you shouldn't be doing so she could benefit. But for the most part, a female can, can really help guide you. Any man that's built a great empire has had some female beside his side that's had his best interest. Now, don't get me wrong, females have also taken down some of the greatest men in history. But for the most part, I know that a lot of times I've had situations where once I voiced certain things I was thinking about and the female got word of it, she was able to kind of talk me down or kind of give me a, a better choice than the choice I was thinking about entertaining. So having a female in your life could be very uh, uplifting and it could be very positive. So don't think that you don't need a female in your life or a woman in your life. I mean, women are the opposite half of us. You know, they complete us as men. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> whatever that movement is, hey, uh, don't follow that movement. Um, building yourself confidence. Um, start off with just trying to find yourself first. Before you go out and try to uh, bring somebody else into your life, Find out who you are. You know, things you can do, you know. Um, take a, maybe a, a martial arts class or, you know, get into uh, maybe meditation. Um, you know, find someone that can mentor you to, to help, you know, kind of be a big brother. And once you can define who you are, it will make it easier for you to go out and attract other people to you as far as people with like minds because if you don't know who you are you could be attracting a lot of trash you know people who are detrimental to your growth so it's, it's, a, it's a key element in defining yourself so that you can be a more productive person in the long run spiritually and financially um, it took a long time for me to figure out who I was I made a lot of mistakes but um, you know, I try to share my mistakes with you guys so you don't make the same ones. You know, people say, oh man, you go to prison, you come out, you think you know everything. No, I don't think I know everything. I'm just trying to become a better me through sharing my life experiences and helping you guys grow because I want to see you be the best you can be. Make sure you guys subscribe, share this channel, Big Kirk 916. Holler at me if you want some life coaching at BigKirk916.com.